Hello and welcome back to CTR. Today is the last day of the Rustlands Grand Prix. And honestly, it's kind of sad. Like, I'm excited for the next minute, but it is heckin' sad to know that this is just gone. Or that the next one's the last one. Ooh, only 3 out of 20. Jeez. Okay. So, we'll do on to the next one. We'll hop online, but we're gonna use Megumi instead of, uh... We're gonna use Megumi instead of... Giri, so Giri only needs two wins. And I'm a heck. Come off the cup, okay. Then we'll hop online and see how that goes. Hopefully... Hopefully that won't be too bad, but yeah. We only need two for him, and I feel like it'd be better to... Go ahead and do this, it's just guaranteed four wins. You know what I'm gonna do too, since I haven't done it in a while and I kinda wanna do it. No, I'll I'll wait. I'll hold off on that until probably after the next event, but let's go ahead and use this to set up. I will say, starting tomorrow, I'm gonna have to go back to this last stream before the uh the event. And start back up where we were with uh, all the skins and everything. Like, because I was going through with all the characters and just like, or at least all the carts and setups and showing everything off, I think. But I'm not 100% sure. I will apologize for yesterday. I didn't stream yesterday because I was taking care of little baby Lucky. She had some stomach issues. I'm not gonna go into full details, but she wasn't like feeling the best and things weren't happening the way they should have been. And so I kind of just made sure to take care of her. Tina, thank you for the hosty host. I really appreciate it. But she's doing a lot better now. It seemed like things finally settled down last night, and she ended up, like, curling up with me and just going to sleep against me, so... I ended up just being like, I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna let her sleep. And she slept on me for, like, four hours. I had never seen her that tired before, just that ready to sleep. Tina, today's the last day of this event. And then, within a few days, we get to the final event. But that's not going to be the end of CTR. Because apparently we're still getting, uh... We'll still be getting new characters after the event ends. We'll still be getting, uh... Carts. Uh, skins. Legendary recolors, which we don't have any legendary recolors yet, which will be really nice to see. I wonder if it'll just be a thing, uh... They actually just give us the recolors and we can put them on underneath the uh, new skins. Some of them, actually, some of them that would work, others that wouldn't. I don't know. Like hard work. I really have no idea. But, it's gonna be exciting. Like playing the rest of the game. It's gonna be exciting seeing all the new things. I wouldn't doubt it if some of the uh, new characters and stuff, because like I said, we're still getting new characters, we're still getting new skins after, I don't know how long we'll be getting the stuff, but I wonder if all the data mine characters are coming. I wonder if all the data mine skins that didn't come are coming. I wonder if there'll be more stuff. I'm hopeful that there will be. I'm sure this stuff will be cool. I'm pretty sure it will be. But I do hope that we get like a decent amount of characters just because I'm a heck and I do want more. Like I am one of the people that's always like, I want more, but just because we don't get more doesn't mean I'm not grateful because they never had to go as above and beyond as they have with this game, and yet they did. And we got, honestly, the best game of last year in my opinion. And the best kart racer, in my opinion. I, didn't need it anyway. 
I do hope that the servers will be live for a long time. Because I know I'm going to want to keep coming back to this. I hope that maybe occasionally they might just be like, oh, here's a new thing of content. This new game came out, let's add some stuff to this. I don't know if they would actually do that, but I would like it if they did. I still feel like whenever they do announce a new Crash game, we'll actually get a new, maybe not a new Grand Prix, but I feel like we could get a bunch of new content from said new game. To kind of promote it and be like, hey, I hope y'all are excited. We're adding this stuff to get you pumped for the next release. I'd like that, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens. <laughs> Rude. I think we get a new skin after the next race for her too. Hopefully soon. As in today, we'll actually start working on Megumi. Because out of the five Nitro Squad girls, she's my second favorite. But... You know, I'll do this. I'll do this. If I could only play as one character from each event and quote-unquote a game... Because I'm going to count Crash Team Racing's cast and Crash Nitro Kart's characters or cast as two different things. For the first group, CTR, I have to go Pinstripe. Crash Nitro Kart, I have to go Entrance. Nitro Squad, the first GP, I have to go with Amy. Back in time, Grand Prix, I have to go Baby T. The yeah, Spire Grand Prix, I gotta go Hunter actually. Hunter and Spire are actually really close for me. But I do generally like Hunter a bit more. No! You fell asleep on the sofa and woke up and Kira was asleep on you? That's adorable. I bet she was warm. I bet she helped keep you warm. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah. Instead of Hunter. The Spyro event was my favorite. Embryo from the Halloween one was my favorite in that one. Ugh. I'd actually Qualicon for the Neon Circus Grand Prix. It's actually kind of close between Qualicon and Pasadena Opossum. She did? That's good to hear. The winter event, even though I never really knew this character beforehand. I have to, have to say, honestly, Yaya. Yaya Panda. And well, this one, I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's only Mega Mix. To be fair, though, they did a really good job with Mega Mix. Like, they did an amazing job with him. Yeah, there we go. Beach Megumi. I do like Beach Megumi, but I like uh, her last skin the most. Also, how's the audio? Because I feel like the game audio is a bit louder today than it usually is for some reason. Just let me know if I need to turn it down. But I don't think I do, because I mean, nothing's changed. But who knows? I will say favorite overall out of the 50 characters we have is Baby T. Hands down, Baby T is my favorite. Sounds fine to you? Good. I'm glad. I was a little worried, but I'm glad that it's fine. I will say, as sad as I am that this is ending, 
if it does end right around the time the Mabel game comes out, that'll work out perfectly. <laughs> we'll still be playing Crash. But I'll be able to switch off easier because I'll be like, okay, I wanted to complete all the Crash games, here we go. That one's going to be a pain though, I think, because it's going to be a mobile game. A current mobile game. It's not going to be one of the old ones where it's just like a very small game that'll last like 15-20 minutes. Speaking of which, I found a way to get a lot of the uh, Crash and well, Crash mobile games. I, don't, I haven't really found a way to do that with uh, Spyro yet. There might be a way. I don't know. I don't know where to get them. But I should be able to get the Crash mobile games, and if I can, we'll play through all of them most likely in one day. Except for the newest one, because the newest one's probably going to take a little while. Come on. Ooh. Come on. Oh heck, I didn't realize we were this close to everybody. Also, I don't know about you or everybody else, but I'm like terrified of the uh, developer time trials. I'm hoping that they're really just going to be like slightly harder versions of the Oxide times, but ooh, that's still going to be really spooky for me. I am very curious as to how it's going to go. Very curious as to how Lucky's going to go. <laughs> I said that I turn around and I just see Luma's pod go like, twitch twitch. They're heckin' adorable. And they love them to death. Cookie's behind me taking a big nap. And she has been doing a lot better. She's been up and around a lot more than she was last week whenever she collapsed. She's been eating and drinking again. So that's been really nice. She's been more active in general since that actually, which is weird. But now... Let's see if we can get online. Does anyone want to join for online races? Before we hop online. I, yeah, well, I'm asking before we jump online. Also, even though we don't need it, there's our window shopping bonus points. I'm pretty sure we're top 5% in both categories, but I'm going to check real quick too. Oh geez, where is it? There it is. Ah, uh, 5% of... Let's see. 5% of 39,000. 770 or 736 okay I'm, I'm very very good there I'd have to lose a thousand points in 13 hours which I don't think is gonna happen and I feel like I don't even need to look at this one but we have to lose nearly 6,000 points or 6,000 ranks to get out of top 5% so we're good there let's switch over to Geary we're gonna finish Geary today well I hope we'll finish Geary today and hopefully we'll be able to get Megumi under 10 I'll try my best to get her on the podium with all of her skins. We'll see how that goes. Hey Neon, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Neon, I don't know if you were here 
when this was announced or after this was announced. Because timing is weird to me, apparently. But the next Crash Team Racing event is the last Crash Team Racing event. They've already said that we will still get some like characters and some skins and stuff after the events are over. But the next event is the very last one. You got the XFL in the background? How is the XFL? I don't know why XFL just seems very weird to me. Geary is very upset that everybody left. Better than no football. I see. That tells me it's not as good as normal football though. It's actually decent. Oh, nice. I know uh, Vincent Van tried that once before and it didn't do well. I never ever, I've never watched it. But I know it didn't do well the first time he tried it. It's like college level really. That's strange, because I always hear people like college football more than professional football, but I don't ever hear anything about XFL. It's just, oh, it just started. Don't mind me. Oh, it's only week two, jeez. It's really early then, okay. Let's see, two, sixteen. Numbers. I said numbers before I even saw twenty-three, and I'm like, heck. I'd already forgotten what I just said. Oh yeah, sixteen. Kinda wanna play this hunter again. Basically it's off season league for the guys who don't quite make the grade. At NFL? Okay. I kind of figured it'd be that, like, it would do that for people because it's like, it gives more people chances to do what they love if they didn't get picked at the top level. Like, not at the top, top level. Like, they're not picked by the NFL type thing. You know what I mean? It is nice though, because like there's a lot of people that are just like right there, they don't get picked for like the NFL, but then they get picked for that. It still gives them a chance. I don't know much about draft, the, like the drafts and stuff, but yeah. <laughs> Most of the guys gone into it are previous NFL or practice squad NFL level players. Really? Okay. Does Baby Coco in that picture have like one tooth? Like one little tooth? I am struggling again. To get into a match. Lots of young guys too. That doesn't surprise me. Why won't you give me a race? I want to get my geary. My white geary. And then... I want to... Oh. Then... I want to get my Lemonade Megumi. Mega Mix Mania. Been really sleepy today. I get that. I've been like waking up constantly so it feels like I haven't really gotten any sleep at all the past few days. Basically, if done right, this will be the NFL Development League. I could see that. I could see that. Some of the rule changes are cool too. I've heard that they had like a few rule changes to where uh, 
the points like I know the point system at least works differently and I've heard other things are like changed to make the games quicker I guess was it to make them quicker I feel like that was the case no extra point kick So what are they doing? Do they do something else instead, or do they just give more points out or less or what? I'm hopeful we can win this. You get for one extra point from the second yard line, two extra points from the five, or three from the ten. Oh, okay. But you have to run it into the end zone or like. Cast my catch it in the end, like catch it and run to the end zone, something like that, right? Come on. Me? I am very hopeful that we win. Me? Come on. Oh, oh no! Runner pass, yeah. Okay, I thought so. I can't really believe we both messed that up. I thought I was going to jump and I just went straight into the wall. I might need to watch it one day, but like I said before, I don't really like watching sports all that much on TV. I think the commercials honestly just kill it for me. No. No. Get your booty back here. I was hopeful. I was very hopeful they were going to mess it up. I think the Amy just stopped. Also, I think the uh, guy lost her Ultra Sacred Fire. It's faster face, therefore fewer commercials. We shall see. We shall see indeed. It's not that I hate commercials or anything either. It's like, it just takes, like, it's just like, take a break from the excitement. And I'm like, oh, okay, I understand what happened, I say. I've spent too much time around Ravy. I can't believe I just said that. Also, I think I saw the guy that's in first hit something. He may have hit something, but there's no way I'm going to catch him at this point. Going to go get some sleep, enjoy the rest of the stream. Alright. Tina, good night. I hope you have a wonderful sleep. I'm sorry I missed your message earlier. But yeah, I hope you have a wonderful sleep, Tina. The play clock has been reduced to 25 seconds. Because, uh, it didn't give the other person, it didn't get the person the first of time. So they got cheated out of that. It does happen. It's happened to me before. It's never fun. But that should have been that one person's race. Also, before I forget. I just remembered. I always do a double tap on that because sometimes it doesn't actually work. But I do feel really bad for them, but I gotta get one more win now. It happens though. I can't believe it happened. I can't believe they gave me that. I always, like, I'm, 
I'm always conflicted whenever it gives me the win because I'm like that, that means I'm like one spot closer to finishing up a character. I just want to make it even. Um, but on the other hand, it's like, but the other person should have won. A water bear has left your game. Who even is a water bear? I think the person that should have came first left, or they might have changed characters, I don't remember. I'm super excited though, because if we win this one, if we win this, oh. I want to get the final Geary skin. I will say, out of everybody that's left besides Geary that I'm most excited to uh, get all the skins for is, let's see, we got Megumi, Liz, Isabella, Baby Crash Baby Coco, Komodo, Mo, and Ebenezer Von Clutch. I'd have to say Megumi. Like, I like all the characters that I have left to work on, but none of them are like favorites. Another cool thing in the XFL is the two minute comeback period. What is that? What is the two minute comeback period? I actually honestly want Cortex Castle. If somebody else votes for something, I'm probably going to go straight to Cortex Castle, but I kind of want the random. Cortex Castle it is. At the two minute warning, the clock stops end of play end of every play so the other team can can't run out the clock. Oh, okay. That's really cool. We'll see if I get a chance to watch one of them. I, keep in mind, I don't have cable. Yeah, I'd rather not watch something illegally. So, we'll see what happens. We shall see. Old Wumpus appear in glowing crates. Catch up with them for a big payout. I wonder if we'll still get the rare Wumpa fruit after this event ends. I can't believe that Tuesday or Wednesday we'll have information on the final event. We'll see the final CTTR TV thing soon. Wait, did I say CTTR V? I meant CTR TV. We'll see the final, like, broadcast, I guess. I wonder if Chicken Sue will actually go back and commentate that one. Just like, this is the end. Because the most recent one, the one for the Wrestling's Grand Prix, just had some faceless voice. Since Chick and Sue were not in the studio, they were out racing, of course. There's see broadcast Fox and ABC. Okay. Oh. Eesh. Ooh. I think I might have hit uh, Mega Mix. Let's see. Two games on each and every Saturday oh. and Sunday. Okay, that's not bad. Everyone with a TV has ABC, right? I don't know. Keep in mind, the last time I watched TV was whenever we had HBO at our last place, which was like two years ago. And I watched all of Game of Thrones and that was it. Except for the final season, I have never seen the final season. 
I've heard very bad things about it, but I still want to watch it because I still want to see what they did. I got extremely lucky because whenever I found, like, I knew about the show and I was like, I really want to watch this show. And, uh, whenever I realized, like, wait, we have HBO. Because, like I said, I didn't really watch TV at all. They had a marathon for, um, uh, holidays. So I literally just, like, recorded the entire thing on the DVR and just watched it, like, when I could. And I really enjoyed it. And before that, the last thing I watched was Breaking Bad, so that shows you how much TV I've watched and how much I actually paid attention to TV. This tells me, this tells me, that we've done, we're, we're finished with the base roster of the game. Until, where content comes out for him. Breaking Bad is awesome. I even watched the, uh, Breaking Bad, like, special movie thing on Netflix and it was really good too. It wasn't my favorite, but it was good. I have seen all of it. I haven't watched all of uh, Better Call Saul though, I forgot about that. I watched the first two seasons whenever we still lived at the old place. And I haven't seen any of anything past season two, but I do want to watch the rest of that. Yeah, I forgot what it was called. I do love Breaking Bad though. It really did, it was a nice like, send off. I want to sit down. I want to actually get all of Breaking Bad on Blu-ray and just watch the whole thing again. And yes, my physical media obsession so it goes through more than just games. <laughs> yeah. Also, I want to go ahead and say this because we talked about Mega Man last time. We're finishing up Going On's Great Adventure, hopefully tomorrow, on Mondays, and we're going to be playing Wonder Song the following week, probably following two weeks, and once Wonder Song is done, we'll replace that, the Monday slot with uh, Mega Man X. Just get Netflix. It's all in there, isn't it? I don't know if it is all on there. It might be. I might have to check that out and see. I also saw, when I went to Walmart earlier this week, I saw that um, they had a collection of the Bond movies. They had all the Bond movies on Blu-ray for like $70, and I was just like, mm, I really want that, but I don't have the money for it. It's definitely all in the UK one. That's really good. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I might be able to do that. I heard it. I thought it was okay. I've seen online that people are like, for the most part, either loving it or hating it. But I think it's fun. It's not my favorite, but I don't hate it. Game, please. Game. Heck. Gear, you'll get a you'll get in a racetrack here soon, buddy. I will say about the Bond movies, I'm a little bit behind on them because I haven't seen anything past Casino Royale. I need to watch the rest of Daniel Craig's stuff, and I did watch a few of uh, Sean Connery's movies and a few of Roger Moore's movies. I'm pretty sure I've seen the rest, but I don't like I couldn't tell you which ones I have and haven't seen for the most part. Unless I ran into the other room and I was like, I have these. I have seen at least these. But I know I've seen all the Pierce Brosnan movies. I've seen all the Timothy Dalton movies. I've seen George Lazenberry's movie. 
I've only seen Casino Royale for Daniel Craig. I've seen a handful of Roger Moore's, and I've seen a handful of Sean Connery's. The cat's trying to get your cake. Luna was trying to get my cake earlier. I know that struggle. I know that pain. It seems like we got most of the same people. Or at least some of the same people from the last one. He is a greedy boy. Luna's a greedy girl. If she knows that you have milk or you have sweets, she wants what you have. If you have both, she will fight you for them. Not literally fight, but she <laughs> she'd like start reaching your paw out to like the bowl or the cup and like give me, give me, give me, give me. I'm just saying it like no. How dare kitty? How dare? She just, if she's not reaching for the bowl, she just sits there and stares at me like, human, please. I need it. I need sustenance. It is very bad for them, and that's why she can't have any. We had a uh, strawberry and chocolate cake for Valentine's. It was really nice. Well, strawberry frosting on chocolate cake. It was good. I'm very much a cake person, though. I love cake. I ate the last piece of the cake today, and I'm like, I want another piece. <laughs> to be fair, I have a bad sweet tooth, so it's like, if I know, or I've just had recently had something, I'm always like, I could go for more. Let's go. I, I just remembered something. I don't know why I remembered this. I remember a while back, we played a, a CTR. Surprise, surprise. Um, and we ran into somebody whose gamer tag was raging in 8th place, and they actually got 8th place at the last second of the race. Like, they, um, were, they were in 7th place at the very end of the race, and uh, the countdown was going. And I don't know if they got hit or what happened, they ended up slipping into 8th in like the last second or two. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Ah. I don't know if we're going to catch up in Pasadena unless Pasadena screws up. Used to... Oh, cake monster, so go figure. You, oh, used to get called cake monster. I mean, cake is fantastic, so... I only got three pieces of cake. I wish I would have gotten more, but I did not get more. I don't see myself catching up to the first and the first, because I messed up way too much compared to where they're at. And... My real hope right now is to stay in second. What is happening? The person in first isn't even moving. Wait, what? Did they really just leave because they got hit? Excuse me? Excuse me? Okay. Looks like I'm getting first, question mark. That was very unexpected, but okay. I'll take it, question mark? Whenever they got hit, I watched them not move and I was like, what's going on? They were in first place. I'm really hoping they didn't just quit because of getting hit once. I should have had second. I 
should have had second twice today and the game was given me first. Well, that person gave me first. That is very strange. I will say, I haven't had any names like that, thankfully. <laughs> I don't know if I would want to be called something monster. Fluky victories? Yeah, fluky victories. But that person literally stopped moving. Because I'm assuming they were going through the menu to quit. If anything, if I got called anything, monster, I'd be called a pizza monster because of how much I go through pizza when we have it. I love pizza. I'll make the game decide. Unless somebody else votes or removes their vote. I'll try to get on the podium with each one of her skins. Cake monster and biscuit monster. I want cookies now. <laughs> For whatever reason, my mind is like, cookies? Yes, I want cookies. Hold on. But a biscuit to you means a scone, right? I have not called anything a scone before. I've heard scones. Let me see. Yes, that's what I, that's what I mean. Whenever I say biscuit is one is a scone. Yes, sorry. Cookies are a specific type of biscuit. Yet you guys call everything cookies. Yeah. So what you do call a scone, we call biscuits. Language is weird. <laughs> Languages in general are weird. But yeah, cookies for us are anything that's just... I don't know, like... My brain is so programmed to be like, cookies to us are just cookies. <laughs> like, is I don't know. But, yeah. We label a lot of different things cookies. That I guess most people wouldn't actually consider cookies. <gasps> I got a shield. And most of uh, what, what we call cookies, you call biscuit, yeah. Cookies around biscuits with uh, chips in them. Everything else is a biscuit. Okay. Wait, how did that not go for me? That person was on my bum. I don't appreciate it. Oh crap, we do have cookies upstairs. We have cookies, which means I could have some more sweets. I really wanted more sweets today, which I kind of do, honestly. Please, please, no! Uh, what? Um... Um... Uh... Excuse me? Excuse me? Why is the game being so kind to me today? Why is it putting things in my favor today? You don't like American chocolate? I don't know the difference between American chocolate and white chocolate elsewhere. I couldn't tell you. I'm very uncultured when it comes to food and a lot of things. 
But hopefully over time that'll start changing. A culture. I don't know why that was the first thing that came to my mind. No. It tastes very different. I, I'll, I'll probably end up trying it one day. Well, different kinds of chocolate. I've never had any UK chocolate. Cadbury's? Nope. I've heard of Cadbury's though. But I have not had them. Crash should have won that race. Crash most likely should have won that race. It would have been close to the end, but... That was a weird way to end that race. Whoops. Characters. We need 13 more. Okay. That's not too bad. I will say, this one was my uh, second favorite base skin of hers. But for whatever reason... I like this one more than the other stuff that she has. I honestly can't tell you why. Hyper Spaceway? Okay. You're eating a Cadbury's Wisp Gold as we speak. I'm gonna look this up. Apparently I put Casperry. Wisp of gold. Oh, those look good. Those look really good actually. I don't know what, what, what all's in them but that looks like a good candy bar. Yeah, I've never had any of Cadbury stuff. The, of the Cadbury stuff, whatever you want to say. The world's most expensive chocolate bar. What? Wait, what I see apparently I could get them at Walmart. What is this? They're out of stock. Oh jeez. It's twelve eighty one for oh for a six pack. That's still a lot, I feel like, for candy chocolates. Hmm. Also confectionery seems way more expensive in the USA. That wouldn't surprise me one bit. Let's go! Check your meters next time. Army's like, slow down. Okay. Also, I just realized she waved her arms in the air whenever she does the big jumps. Come on. Oh, that was a good jump that that guy did. Eek. I needed perfect, not good. No. Oh my gosh. Woo. Come on. I wonder how this is going to go. Oh, they fell off the map. Oh no, I messed that up. I can't believe they fell off the map. Come on. Come on. Let's heckin' do this! Oh no! 
I will say good news though. He seems to be going after him too. Which means he won't affect me as bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's about to hit me though. Oh my gosh. Please don't catch me. What was in New York? Oh, it was in New York. Okay. As for UK snacks and sweets, it's cheaper to pay some someone in the UK to mail you it than to just buy it. How they're really? That seems insane. Also, I'm sorry it took me so long to read the comment. I was so worried about winning this race. I was more worried than I should have been about winning this race. I feel like I did a good job there. I just still I'm not the best at the figure eights, which I'm gonna have to get better at the figure eights if I want to probably beat the developer times. Ooh, those developer times are gonna be spooky. Those lucky times are gonna be spooky too, aren't they? Yeah. Lucky's the fastest racer in the galaxy, aren't you? Even faster than Emperor Velo. Come here, baby girl. Come here. You wanna lay down next to me? You wanna lay down my lap? What are you gonna do? Come on, baby girl. I'm surprised how much she laid with me last night whenever you were sick. Because I'm used to cats being like, must go off on my own when I'm sick. Well, lucky. She was just like, I need my human. You love American cereal, but the only one you can tend to find is Lucky Charms with marshmallow and marshmallow mateys. And they're so much more expensive than UK cereals. I don't need a lot of cereal. I'll eat Cheerios. I'll eat Frosted Flakes. I'll eat Fruit Loops. That's about it for cereal for me that I can think of off the top of my head. Cereal is never the biggest thing for me. Like, it's like chips for me. I'll take it in spells where I'm like, you know what, I really, really want this. And then I'll eat it all, like a full box. Not in one day or anything, I'll eat a full box and then I'll be like, alright. I'm done with this for a while. You can't find Fruit Loops anywhere? I'm sorry. Fruit Loops are good though. I get wanting them. I haven't even looked at cereal in months. I'm sure they're still around here though. I'm sure. I wonder if anybody will vote for Clockwork Wampa if I do it and then make it two for everything. No, understandable. Have an. <gasps> What's going to get voted? Or what? Ooh! Ooh! Okay. So I think when the Oxide station people are like, I don't want Turbo Track, I'm making sure this gets picked. I kind of feel that way at least. Also, this will be the first time we've used this Makumi skin. I do think we can get her down to single digits today. With the rate this has been going. When you were in New York City, your hotel had had a all-you-could-eat breakfast. And you and your mate were really cheeky with it. What do you mean? What'd y'all do? Also, I know this is tomorrow, but I'm super excited to get the last few entry passes in Miss or Going One's Great Adventure, and I'm ready to get all the costumes. There'll be a bit of grinding tomorrow, but we should be good. We take a few extra plates of the cereals and buns, and not need to be hot stuff. Or not 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 you would bring the not to, needed to be hot stuff back to your room for lunch and the evening snack. That's that's really good. I apparently stumbled over my words there, because reading is hard, English is hard. Oh, 
Also, I gotta say, I am surprised they wanted to do the Safe Say Live. But, uh, you might have saw on the Discord, I asked uh, Joey if he wanted to play um, Sea of Thieves with me or Overwatch. I ended up playing Sea of Thieves earlier today. And I don't know why, every time I play solo, if I get a bunch of stuff and I go to take it to an outpost to sell anything, there's always other players at said outpost, and I always have to go looking for other outposts to be safe. And I don't know why that always happens. But for whatever reason, it's like always consistently a thing. I ended up having to go to the uh, islands that are surrounded by like volcanoes and stuff to uh, actually sell my stuff. Come on. See? Come on, Megumi. Let's try our best to catch up. It's your first language and you suck at English. I get that. That's me too. Like, I don't know how some people do multiple languages. To be fair, I haven't really tried too much. I took a bit of Spanish in school and I took... Well, I took a bit of Spanish in school and I didn't do really all that well with it. But whenever I went to try Italian, I actually did a lot better. Like, I know Italian and Spanish are very similar and that might have been what caused me to take Italian better. Just because I already had previous experience with Spanish. But for whatever reason, my mind was like more okay with Italian. Okay. Oh, I was like, where is Crash? Crash went really far. Holy cow. Your cousin speaks nine languages? How? That's amazing, but like, how? I wouldn't mind actually learning a different language and going somewhere and being able to use it. Understandably, she is an interpreter. Ah, okay. I couldn't imagine doing that. That seems insane to me. But I'd still love to learn a language and go somewhere and stay for like a week and just see what life would be like there. Like, of course I do the touristy type things because I want to explore, but still. Like, heck. I would like to actually legitimately do that one day. But I don't know if I actually could. Well, I'm sure I actually could, but it's just like the whole, the whole timing thing. How much time in the day do you have to dedicate to these kind of things before you go, like learning the language and stuff? Interpreters can make crazy money. That doesn't surprise me. That really does not surprise me at all. At least we got up on the podium. Like your cousin, she doesn't need a, a job as such. She is freelance, really. That'd be really nice to be able to just be like freelance, just do it, do your own thing at your own time. Well, not really at your own time. Like somebody needs your help and stuff, you'd obviously be working with them, but still. You can decide what you do and don't do. This is really awesome of her though.
She has a tendency to turn work into holidays in exotic places, too. That doesn't surprise me. That doesn't surprise me one bit. I mean, like, it's a very smart thing to do. Also, also, I want to say this about CTR. I've seen people ask for this, and I kind of want this to be a thing. Somebody has asked for a Crash Suit Guy to be a playable character in Crash Team Racing. Crash Suit Guy, if you don't know, is it in a lot of commercials for like Crash games in general, where it's literally just a guy in a Crash Suit. Which, I mean, it's, it's probably... Maybe obvious because it's like the name Crash Suit Guy, but still. He's the uh, guy in all the commercials. I would love it if that actually happened. That'd be so stupid, but it'd be so amazing. Oh no! I did not want to get flattened. Eh? Come on. Oh, I should have saved that, actually. No. That heckin' beaker heck me up. Come on. Eesh. That could have been done a lot smoother than what I did. No. Heckin' up. They should do an. Wait, hold on. They should do an NFL or MLB CTR track, where you're dodging baseballs or bats or footballs and helmets, and the racers for the tracks are all team mascots. That'd be pretty awesome, actually. That would be. I feel like that'd be a lot of fun. Also, I just realized I saw the bomb. E. I don't know if you want to get on the podium in this race, but I'm going to try. Come on. I might be able to catch up to third and second. First, though, is pretty far ahead. Get out of here. Mega Mix. I was like, that's tiny, right? And I looked, I was like, wait, that's not that tiny. Come on. No! I hacked that up so bad. I almost hit my own TNT box. That had been so bad. You will not stop me. Don't tell it to put me in a second. And jock straps could be an obstacle. And if it lands on you, you can't see for five seconds. It's like the, uh, when you say you can't see for five seconds, it makes me think of the, uh, the blooper item from Mario Kart. That is what it makes me think of, honestly. I'm trying to think. What was it? There was something else I wanted to bring up. But I can't remember what it was. I'm like going through something. Oh, yeah. Somebody posted this on the Crash Reddit. But all you can see is Brown Saint. I don't, I don't know if I would want that. I don't, that just seems like a big nope in the game for me. Why? <laughs> Somebody posted this in the CTR Reddit. It is like a sewn together Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Charmander hybrid creation thing. 
and I see the new Mega Mix skin looks great. Okay, so it did not replace me with that person for a second. Okay. Catters are staring a hole in you. They want the cake. They want the sweets. I can't blame them. I can't blame the kitty. I want sweets too. Lucky, why you got to be so far away? I can only touch you with my middle finger. You're literally just far enough away for me to barely touch you. One thing you don't get though, cats tend to love sweet stuff, but apparently they can't taste sweet, only salty. Really? I didn't know about that. I didn't know about that at all. I will say, I do know what Luna's two favorite things are in the world. And those two things, like, I know she does like sweets and stuff. She likes anything that's sweet. Her two favorite things are ice and peanut butter. I've never put, like, ice on, or ice on peanut butter, peanut butter on ice. But I thought about that recently, and I was like, hmm, I wonder what she would do if we put peanut butter on ice. She hasn't had peanut butter in years, but every time I like eat a peanut butter sandwich, or something, she's like, "I must steal that." It's like, "Please, anyway, this is mine." Alex's two favorites are cheese and milk. I I've heard cats like cheese, but I've not actually given them anything because I don't want to give them something like that and have them really think, "Okay, I can have this whenever." The reason why she's had uh, the peanut butter before is my dad is a very like my, he, my dad's very much like let's give the animals what we're eating as long as we don't as long as it's not bad for them which I don't know if peanut butter is bad for them or not but dad's always been like that where he'd give whatever animals around us like food human food. Um, and he always gave it to Luna because Luna always wanted it more than the, the other, like more than Lucky or Cookie ever wanted it. Oh my gosh, that was such a bad run. Um, but I don't ever give her peanut butter because I know if I do, she's just gonna be like, oh, so I can have this. I saw on the other hand, it's like it's just water. I don't feel as bad about giving her water because it's like it's water. Her eyes because it's like it's just water. It's fine. And they always have water anyway, so it's like, or they can always have water because they need water. How dare you! No, that was just bad. I see there's a message there. I promise I'll get to it after this race. I want to see if I can get past this guy. I hope you like it. Good one. I was a heck right there. I was like, I saw the lineup and I was like, what if I could just put a TNT here? Ooh. Come on, Megumi. Oh, okay, that's weird. You usually leave a piece or two of cheese if you're eating, but you keep it aside until you're finished, and he has learned if he doesn't jump, he gets it at the end. That's good. That's good. I will say this. I know Lucky and Luna would drink milk, but I've always heard 
I've always heard that like the milk we drink isn't the best for cats. I don't know if it's the same way for dogs or not, but I've always heard that. I don't know. It didn't. It didn't hand me the win last time. But I don't know what's happening. The past two days, the game has been like you're not getting into any races. And today, it's just been like you'll get ninety percent of the matches won. Like we should have lost so many more, but we've only lost. One, I think? Have I accidentally entered a cheat code? I don't know. Lucky you just now decided, she's like, I won't be up here, human. Come on, baby girl. I should not have won that race. I don't know what's going on. Blizzard Bluff, okay. Hello Complex Cloth, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Alex is staring at you like a demon. No! Is that like Sphinx? What does the Sphinx mean? I know what a sphinx is, but what does it mean when a cat sits like a sphinx and stares at you? Is that evil? Does that mean they're plotting something? What does it mean? No! I'll leave the lobby and go back in. Actually, I want to see how much money we got now. 17,773. I'll take it. Well, let's see. We only need 11 more for you. This isn't bad. Lucky, come back, baby girl. What you doing? Real bad Wi-Fi. It's real bad. Like the position the Sphinx is in, in the statue. I got you. Pretty good so far? That's good to hear. And have, you're having a good day yourself? I am having a good day. The game is being unusually, unusually kind to me and giving me wins. Because I feel like I should have lost about half the races I've lost today. But it's just like, nope, the people that finished didn't finish here first. It's done that for the most part except for like one or two races. I think it's only been one race so that it was actually 100% accurate. But I'm not sure. I've won nearly all the races we've been in. Even if I haven't, or I, even if I shouldn't have won that many. It is what it is, question mark? Also, random question, maybe not so random, since we've been playing Sonic on the weekend, or not weekends, but Fridays. Has anybody here seen the Sonic movie? Does anybody like it? I've heard surprisingly good things about it now. I have not unlocked all the skins yet. I'm still missing skins for Megumi, Liz, Isabella, Baby Crash, Baby Coco. Ebenezer Von Clutch and Komodo Mo. So we got seven characters we gotta go through with to get all the uh, skins. And they're all skins unlocked from winning races. Come on, Megumi! Not yet. One day. Come on! Wait, was that person using the, uh, the, uh, Pharaoh Cortex skin? No, they weren't. They were using Dingo Dial. Alligator Dingo Dial. I don't know how I got that confused. Come on. 
I feel like I'm slowly catching up to them. Oh. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh no. That was such a bad run through there. Jim Carrey is way too thin to play Robotnik. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Robotnik's kind of round. Kind of egg shaped, if you ask me. That might be why he's called Eggman. <laughs> But I mean, it's fine. If he plays the role well, that's all that really matters. At least to me. I know a lot of people want it to be 100% accurate, like physical depiction of him or other characters, but it's not always going to be that way. I haven't seen it. I have heard it's good though. I have heard very good things about it, surprisingly. I say surprisingly because of the history of video game movies. And I would like to watch it one day. I heard it did better than Detective Pikachu, which I heard was really good. The most surprising movie as of late for you was Detective Pikachu. I haven't seen it, but I've heard good things about it too. I still love that whenever Detective Pikachu came out and people were talking about the Sonic movie after, people were like, Detective Pikachu was the beginning of the Smash Brothers cinematic universe. <laughs> Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu is fantastic. I don't know about Detective Pikachu though, but Detective Pikachu, mm-hmm. 100% amazing. Wait, we're still... Yeah, we're at 11. I wasn't sure for a second there. No! No! Everybody come back! I cut my hand yesterday. The back of my hand. And it hurts. It like burns more than anything. Part of the PG element. There, there wasn't a lot of difference between Reynolds comedy style between Deadpool and PG besides the PG element. That really doesn't surprise me one bit. No! Get people come back. I just want to race. I wanna, I wanna get, I really do wanna get her to uh, at least nine wins remaining. We'll, we'll be playing a bit more with the carts starting tomorrow as well. I will promise that. I'm very hopeful too that we can finish her stuff tomorrow maybe it's kind of funny that comic characters both killed and resurrected both killed and resurrected his career Green Lantern was the first one wasn't it he, he was also Deadpool in the X-Men movies right before Deadpool became the Deadpool that we know now like movie wise he just wanted to be a superhero didn't he He was in Terrible Origins, yes, okay. I thought he was, but I wasn't 100% sure. I'll back out completely and go back in and see if anything will change also. 18,000. I almost said 180,000. I've seen the original Deadpool. I saw that whenever we had HBO it was on HBO one night. I liked it. I haven't seen the second one though. I think 
excuse me, Lucky? How dare. I like how I said excuse me. She's like, alright, I'll stop. But yeah, I've seen the original Deadpool. I haven't seen the sequel. I will say about Detective Pikachu, though, I still wish Danny, Danny DeVito played Pikachu. I just love all those clips on YouTube of, like, Danny DeVito as Pikachu. It kills me every time. The post credits on two. I know nothing about it. I know nothing at all. I'm a heck. I don't know what happens in it at all. I have no clue. Also, I'm going to say this. It's going to be really weird actually streaming the uh, Crash Bandicoot mobile game. So I know for a fact there's gonna be a little bit of a delay from putting uh, from casting my phone to the Xbox and then to the capture card. I mean it's fine. Deadpool goes back in time and murders Ryan Hill and says he is reading a Green, Green Lantern script. Ugh. Oh my gosh. It's perfect. I wish uh, DC movies were better. Like, I haven't really watched any of them, but from what I've heard, they're not the best. They're not as good as the Marvel's, Marvel movies. I haven't really seen the Marvel movies either. I've seen uh, Iron Man. Is uh, Deadpool in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Or is it considered its own thing because of the writing? Either way. If Deadpool isn't counted in that, I have only seen one in that whole franchise. But, like, I do like the idea of the superhero movies, and I would love to actually sit down and watch them all one day, but I don't know when that'll happen. But I would like it if uh, DC had better movies, because, like, if they could compete with Marvel, again, like what I say with Xbox and Sony and Nintendo, like, if they can compete... That's going to make better products for us in the end, I feel. Because I feel like everybody's going to work harder to make it a better product in general. I could just be insane and just be like, completely wrong, but that's how I feel. Come on. We could have done better. The second place is fun. I can't complain about that. Also, I like how we talked about how the game was giving me wins, and now the game was like, mm-mm, mm-mm, we're gonna be accurate now. Which is fun. I'd honestly rather it be accurate, but I just find it kind of funny. Lucky, what is it, baby girl? Jump. Jump. Come on, Lucky. You can get up here. She was looking down, or she's looking up at me like, can I get up there with you? Can I? Everything is a rehash or reboot or sequel. Movies and games are dead now. I... I mean... I want to debate you and be like, but, 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 but I'm sitting here like... The Crash Team Racing remake is my favorite game this generation. <laughs> There's still unique new things. But they're from a lot of smaller teams with less budget. 
occasionally you'll find something like new and exciting from a big developer but it, like I this can go for movies this can go for games but I feel like the most creative things you're gonna find anymore are from the smaller devs Maybe an original game that hit big in the last decade. Hold on one second. I'm looking up a game to make sure it is. Because I know this game was very popular and it fits what I was saying too. When did this come out? I never played it, but I've heard how amazing it is. Fez. Cam at hitting big though. I don't know. But I know people really love that game, and I don't really know of anything like it. Fez. Is a. What is that noise? What is going on behind me? Sorry if that was loud. Not heard of it. Heck. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, Lucky. I'm gonna get you. I was gonna get you. Oh. She went underneath the uh, couch. But like, everything that's a big game now is a remake or a sequel. For the most part, I can see that. I was about to say Prey, and I realized Prey was a remake of a Xbox 360 game. I don't... Hmm. They exist, I know. But I'm trying now to think of one from a bigger company. It's not out yet. We're caught in concept that's been done. What is... Lucky, what are you doing, baby girl? I will come grab you. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> She's giving me that look. Guess who you'd say Cyberpunk is an original. I was thinking Cyberpunk, but that hasn't come out yet. But I think it has to do with, uh, for games at least, probably the same thing for movies. A lot of these developers and people that are making movies, they're like spending all this money on the product and they're like too scared to take a big risk because of how much money they're pouring into said product. And that's why I said you, if you want something like that, you do need to turn to uh, smaller developers, people that aren't going to spend as much money on something and they're going to work on something that they are really passionate about. I'm not saying that people that are working on the bigger things aren't passionate about what they're making, but you can't change things too much for sequels. You can't change things too much for uh, remakes if you want to keep the same core audience. But it reminds you of uh, that PS4 exclusive game. What game would that be? got splashed. I'm gonna have to go grab Lucky after this. I don't know what she's doing. She's made this noise before, but every time I go back to see what it is, I can't see what it is. Like, I think it might be underneath the uh, couch. The couch is heavy. I mean, this couch that I'm sitting on is not bad, but the one back behind me is really a pain. It's one where you're a hacker. It's one where you're a hacker. I can't think of a uh, PS4 game where you're a hacker. No, well, that's exclusive PS4. The thing that I'm thinking of where you say that is uh, Watch Dogs. That's not exclusive. 
And that also reminded me, there was an indie game that came out a year or two ago that had, like, real-time, like, enabled in it, whatever. Real-time, I don't know exactly what they call it, but it, the game operates in real-time, like, whether you're playing it or not. And, uh, it was a story about this guy that got kidnapped or locked away in a room, and you're watching him through cameras, and you're trying to keep him alive. He's... He only has access to two rooms, so I'm not mistaken. You're just there trying to keep in contact with him. You talk to him, spend time with him, check in on him, make sure everything's okay. I think you might be able to see a few things that are in rooms he can't go into, like somebody might be moving around trying to do something. Watchdogs? Okay. It might not be exclusive, alright. I need to find that game again because I wanted to play it. I feel like it'd be a fun game, but I feel like. Like, I would like to stream it, but I feel like it would be really hard to stream something like that. Where the game is actively doing things, even if you're not playing it. Hi, Lucky. I think Lucky wants me to play with her, honestly. She's starting to run around. I will say about Watch Dogs, I believe Watch Dogs, Assassin's Creed, and Far Cry are in the same universe. But I'm not 100% sure on that one. I have Watch Dogs, but I've only played the first mission. You keep meaning to play No Man's Sky. Play it for the rest of eternity and not complete it. That's terrifying. <laughs> That's so terrifying. <laughs> I don't know if I could, I don't know, if, I don't know if I would ever attempt to stream that. Because <laughs> there'd always be a part of me that's like, I gotta complete this. I gotta complete this. If I just played it on my own, I think it'd be fine. But if I ever streamed it, I guarantee you, part of me would always be like, I gotta show everything off. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I gotta show everything off. <laughs> yeah, Lucky wants to play. She's like running around behind me. Which... I guess it's fine because it's 9.57. We'll go ahead and back out. We have nearly, nearly 19,000. This is an always expanding universe space exploration game. I've heard. I like it. It always looked fun. Even after... It came out and people were like disappointed in it. It still looked kind of fun to me because I like the exploration style games. I like just being able to explore a world. Like, if I ever play Minecraft with people, my big thing is I'm just going to run around and explore. I'm not really going to build or do much like that. I'll go find places to explore and see if I can find materials. I don't know, it just it's soothing, I guess, in a way. Like, if a game's giving me the option to explore, like Sea of Thieves, I can just sell the seas and just do whatever. It's always fun. If you explore and find an undiscovered, you, you get to name it. I'm sorry, I started laughing there. Lucky started running around behind me. Then everyone else who ever goes there is visiting whatever you named it. Don't. Whenever you start a brand new game, don't you start on your own planet? Like, doesn't it just have a planet for you that you get to name? Or am I mistaken? Because I feel like that was a thing where everybody started off on their own unique planet. But, but, hold on. Hold on one second. What are y'all doing back there? Hack. Just hack. Okay, I wanted to check something real quick. You're starting to random spot in the universe of it. Okay. 
but it is 10 o'clock. I want to say thank you all for stopping by. Thank you all for lurking, chatting. I hope you've all had a wonderful time. I know I have. I'll be back tomorrow with Goemon's Great Adventure. Probably the finale of that. And more CTR. But, I hope you all have a wonderful day. A wonderful night. And I can't wait to see you all again very soon. Good night, everybody. I love you all.